All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today we're going to be reacting to Organic's uh, video at this car meetup and getting approached by the police. This is actually part two. If you guys have not seen part one, definitely go check out part one. But we're going to try to uh, finish off where we left off in part one. So he's at this car meetup. Let me give you guys some quick background. This man is at a car meetup. It's not even a legit car meetup. He's at a shopping center somewhere in like some sketchy hood, somewhere in the hood in the trap or whatever. And this thing is not even planned out. They just met in front of like an auto zone. I think it was like an auto zone. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it was an auto zone. And then they get booed out of there. Because I guess some of the businesses called up the police and said, hey, man, there's a group of these like sketchy looking cars out here. These are not even Hellcats, man. I think I seen maybe like one, two, a few sprinkles of scat packs or whatever. But the rest of them are base model um, chargers and uh, challengers. So anyways, they get booed out of there. The police shows up. Obviously, Organic is parked where the police pull up. And they start questioning him about the car, man. This has got to be like his third or fourth time getting pulled over by the police. Like something is real sketchy going on with his car, man. That car, it's been a while now since he uh, picked up that car and they still haven't sent him the uh, plates on that car. So there's something real sketchy going on. We might actually have to check out the dealer that he got this car from. Um, so that's pretty much part one kind of like summarized it but there was more to it so if you guys haven't seen part one definitely go check it out but we're gonna finish off where um i guess when they start pulling out of there because that's not a legit car meetup and i was thinking like you know stunner reese has legit he's set up these types of car meetups why would he go to a place like this in the middle of some shopping center in the hood why are they in the hood i thought this man is in Brickell in Miami and used to go to all these like legit car meetups with Fresh Prince CEO and uh, Fresh and Fit and Bam Man Kevo. Some shit is just not adding up. What? Yeah, they're leaving now. They're uh, just definitely leaving. Um, uh, we have to show in the photograph here. My left, yeah. He got, he got the insurance. Um, Okay. Yeah. Um, can you tell you why we're, we're stopping? Uh, the license, the yeah. I, like I said, it was yesterday. I was in um on South Beach, okay. and I had my car parked, and they told me about it. I, I I seen it, but they just talked to me, so I called them yesterday and this morning about the license plate at the dealership, and they told me it should be any, any day soon. So okay. Yeah. Uh, are we getting a hard tag or a new? I think I should have my whole license. I don't know why I don't have my whole license plate. I don't know. They said it should be should be on the way. Did you go to the DMV? No. Should I go to the DMV and go there? If you, if, yeah. If, unless. But they said they should get it at the dealership. Car. Probably your mortgage. Yeah. They'll probably give you a temporary tag. The hard tag, you gotta go to the DMV and I'll issue you one. Right. The uh, hard, the hard. Yeah. Just do it myself. Do it. Right. You know, I don't know about. Um, you know, there's like this whole thing going on with like floating car titles. So that might be the case with this car. Or it could be that this car was like an auction car and the dealer didn't really fully pay the car off at the auction. Something, man, something is just not adding up right. Or it could be Organic's check didn't clear up. You know, he's having some troubles, financial troubles right now. Um, this man had to take back his, his brother's gifted super stock to trade in. So it could be his Wells Fargo check never cleared up. And the dealer's like, yo, when we can we expect payment so we can straighten out your paperwork here so you can be driving correctly out there? Is car from California? Or? No, no, it's from here. Cario Motors right there in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. yeah, so I had a Hellcat and I traded it in for it. And, um, yeah, that's all. Right. You need to get it figured out because you're just going to keep getting stuff. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. No problem. Yeah. I don't know if they change addresses or something and you didn't get the new tag. There's supposed to be a new tag on the vehicle. Yeah, right. You're going to keep getting pulled, bro. I got you. I called him yesterday and today, so. I don't know if you're able to do dual, but get the portal license, okay? Because that's also an issue, okay? No problem. All right, man. Thank you. Right, you. Have a good day. Thank you. What time is on, people? Back to back, man. But we liking some hood stuff, too, but it's all good. I ain't tripping. Be calm, guys. As you see, once again, you be calm and attention to... Why is a multi-millionaire going to the hood in the first place? Like... Does that shit make any sense? Why is a multi-millionaire going to the hood, to the trap, to a car meetup in the trap in the ghetto? 
Like, you went from hanging out with Fresh Prince CEO, Bandman Kevo, going to these car meetups at uh, International Mall, to these, like, hood, like... And then you gotta... Well, I, I guess his boyfriend, Stunner Reese, took him there. Stunner Reese is into all these, like, weird-ass car meetup places. And this thing is not even, like, a legit... Mopar, like I mean, it's Mopar, but it's not like Hellcats, Jailbreaks, Super Stocks, Demons. It's like a whole bunch of like fucking Hertz rental chargers, base model chargers, SX, SXTs, and RTs, and like shit nobody really gives a fuck about. To be quite honest with you guys, we make it out okay, people. You know what I'm saying? We don't stress out over stuff like that, man. Especially you're a good Samaritan like Mr. Organic. But guess what? We got another good video. Shout out to the police officers one for time, man. Nothing but love. I'm going to get that license plate thing taken care of. You know what I'm saying? But see how calm I be? That's how calm you got to be in this world, people. And everything works out good. I got up today. Hey, got another good content for you guys. Pulled over again. Shout out to my dog stuff. You know what I mean? Shout out to the police officers. It was calm and cool. Nobody acting extra. My tag is expired, so I expect that, man. So shout out to them. No ticket. No nothing. That's love. There you go. Let's ride out. Oh, no, okay. 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 With that camo bait move. About to ride out. Got this joint here. Demon Slayer on them motherfucking ass. With the goddamn. Yeah. I'm stupid on them with the horns on them. Woo! Laws APA has a nice pose. Yeah. The baby thing about it first. Why is that dude talking to them like like they a fucking bunch of retards or something? Like when you see a red light, stop at the red light. Like what? What do you mean? Like they haven't been stopping at red lights before you instructed them to stop at red lights? These dudes like they got these this type of car meetup reminds me of um I stumbled into one place while going to the mall. I don't know why these group of idiots always decide to go to the mall, but it's always a group of these driving like Honda Civics, Honda um Honda Accords, Toyota Corollas and it's like they be driving like, you know, the base model. Like these cars are not even performance cars to begin with. And they always like lower them, put some aftermarket wheels, a turbocharger. It's like, you know, that kind of like that old school Fast and the Furious type vibes, right? Like like the very first one or two Fast and Furious movies. It's like, dude, like, just just stop, man. Just quit doing all that goofy ass shit, man. I don't know why people keep doing that, but this is the vibes I'm getting from this this car meetup. Like all these guys are driving these like low budget used base model chargers and challengers and they what they did is like all these cars like all the ones that i've seen so far they got a wrap on it right like a custom wrap right a cheap custom wrap but then the wheels are all stock it's like bro you like half assed that shit you half assed it like if you're gonna customize it just go all the way or don't start at all man just keep it original keep it stock why why put this cheap ass custom wrap on your car and then keep the stock wheels and it just looks hideous man I'm here now, I moved here about two months ago. Yeah? I'm in here now, buddy. You see me all the time. What's your name? Oh, nice to meet you, champion. Bye, sir. I was you and fucking all the guy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here now, brother. So you'll see a lot of me, brother. Yeah, dope. Oh, you say my bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's a different ass color, I ain't gonna lie. With that, with that pearl flick on that thing. You drop that, you said? You know what I don't like with these, uh, with the people that buy chargers and challengers? I hate when somebody buys a base model um, charger and then tries to make it look like it's the, the Hellcat version. I hate that shit, man. I don't know why people do that. Like, I don't understand why you got like a V6 charger and then you decide, let me get quad exhaust. Let me put a wide body on it. It's like, bro, 
the thing is it looks fast but it's not fast all right like what you're just setting yourself up for failure like you pull up next to the real deal performance car at a red light right and then you're gonna get smoked so what was the whole purpose like i don't understand that shit people that get these like four cylinder and six cylinder cars and then they wrap it up put the wide body put the quad exhaust to make it sound it don't even sound legit it sounds like that thing is screaming for air Hey, Joe, Joe. It's a good flick on that thing. Right, so now I'm doing a little ride out, man. Shout out to the Mopar Spinners. Get them love. It's crazy. I should have had the Hellcat up during these times, right? You know what I mean? should have had the Hellcat, or at least the... I think, like... See, that's one... See, this is one of those... Like I told you guys, this is one of those car meetups that's real ghetto. Because you can tell all the cars in the, cl in the club, right? Whatever and the so-called club meetup group or whatever it's not even top top notch cars right these are not like i said ain't hellcats jailbreak super stock demon demon 170 old school demon um uh, muscle cars this shit is like a bunch of rental cars with some uh, half-ass wraps no custom wheels i haven't seen one of them with custom wheels and if there is they probably just like uh coated it like some, you know, them cheap ass, like little plasticky dip, uh, plastic dip, uh, wheels or whatever. Like this is like a half ass cheap ass car meet up in the hood in the trap. But this is how you know that this shit is real weird is cause they accept other people to join with other cars. Like granted, like a Maserati and Aston Martin is like a lot better than showing up with a fucking a Nissan Altima and a Toyota Prius and you know a Subaru or something like that but that shit look weird like if you're just all supposed to go out for a ride out and then you got all these cars it's just like if it was all one you know whole bunch of Hellcats that shit would look a little bit more legit but this looks real fake but I still got the um the slingshot because these still it still be cool to slide them in like these type situations fit these better you know what I mean so the Hellcat definitely would have been a monster in, in, in this whole scenario right now, but it's all good. You know what I mean? I love the ass, I love my pick. But the slingshot could have blended right in cool. You know what I mean? I gotta get a roof for that thing though, but yeah, man. It's cool to be out with the people. Y'all got organic out, man. And I'm enjoying it, man. And shout out to everybody that's here from the Mopar Spinners. Cool guys. Um, shout out to my dog still got me out here, man. Just give my love for the seat though. Show y'all where we rolling, man. So they finna re ride now. I'm being in, in conjunction with them. Not going too crazy, but just, you know, I'm doing what I does, man. Whipping the whip. I turn it on when I turn it on. Three, y'all. So I can't play the uh, the rest of the video because he's got music and shit. Um, but I'm trying to understand the purpose of them going out for a ride. Like, what are you guys like? What is the what is your what is the mission here? You guys are all riding out in base model chargers and challengers with cheap ass wraps on them to do what? To go drive on public roads? as a group to kind of show people that hey man look at me look at me i got this base model sxt charger with this half-ass wrap with this like cheap ass wrap no wheels like for what like i'm trying to understand man like i, I must be stupid or something but what what are they trying to do what is the, what is the accomplishment of this like when i go with my friends like we got we got exotic cars right I'm not driving like a basically a rental car, almost a rental car with some half ass wrap on it. Like this shit look incomplete. This shit looks incomplete, man. It looks weird. Like what are they trying to do? What is the purpose of this? And then they got two goofies like driving one driving a junkyard Maserati, the other one driving a, a, a non-registered Aston Martin. It's like, what are y'all trying to do? Like, make people jealous because you guys got base model chargers and challengers. And it's like a weak ass car meetup, man. Like, get your ass back to Brickell or to Miami and like go to the real legit places. Stop hanging out these like sketchy ass car meetups. But it's a cool little area, man. I've never been in Fort Lauderdale Beach Park. But it's cool. Yeah. See that action looking real flirtatious, man. 
Hey. It's tax right, man. They got stopped two times already, man. They own me about this. I can see it too. You know, I'll never get my tax done. The rest of this video is garbage, man. Like, he just played, like, basically two, three songs, man. Two, three songs. It's like the first half of the video. I don't even think the first half of the video was really thing anything special. Because he just got down. He went downstairs from his apartment to drive the car to go to this hood. To this trap. Um... And that shit was boring. That was a boring ass conversation. So the only part of this video that actually had real substance is when he got approached by the police. They told him, yo, what's going on? Is this your car? Is this car registered? Do you got a license and all that? And then once they get booted out of this car meetup location at the shopping center because they don't have permits, they're not supposed to be there. They're not supposed to be setting up as a group there. Then they start driving around. And then, like, like I said, I don't understand this concept. Maybe this shit is a new thing. Maybe it's a, Maya, a Florida thing, a Fort Lauderdale thing, where a bunch of people with bummy-ass chargers and challengers with half-ass custom work on their car decide to all meet up and go collectively as a group drive around and on public roads. Like, for what? Like... You guys are nothing special. Like, I, I get it. Like, you might feel special, but you guys honestly look like a bunch of goofy retards. Like, it's just, it would be almost like the equivalent if a whole bunch of people that drive Priuses started, like, going on, like, as a group or something like that. Like, it just looks weird. Yeah, there's a group of people driving a Prius, like, 515 cars, Priuses with custom wraps or whatever driving, but it's just... It's like, what are y'all doing? Like, y'all got nothing else better to do? Like, I get it if, it, if it's a group of Ferraris and Lamborghinis, because you don't see Ferraris and Lamborghinis every day, right? But I don't know. I guess whatever floats some people's boats. Some people really feel that special when they drive their SXT or their RT Challenger or Charger, and they think, oh, man, I think a lot of people will really love this wrap that I got on my car that looks half-assed. You can see a lot of bubbles in it, scuff marks. Wheels look horrible. It's like, come on, man, y'all. <laughs> Sound like a young Otis Redding. Shout out to everybody rocking with the campaign. We're doing everything in our passion, growth, and understanding to grow and not just maintain. It's your boy, Mr. Organic. Yes, the price. I just noticed that he just dropped the, um, like, while recording this part two. I just noted that he also dropped Organically Speaking episode three. This is episode three, which we're just going to check out for a minute or two. Um, but we'll do a separate reaction for it. I just noticed he just dropped it. Literally, he just dropped it now. Pathetic one. This is Organically Speaking episode three. I hope everybody's been enjoying the podcast. I'm giving good energy. I'm getting good energy. Okay. So make sure you go to Mr. Organic on Instagram and DM me your questions and concerns. I will get back to you in a timely fashion. So I go ahead and address that here on Organically Speaking. Now, if you don't know, on all streaming platforms, make sure you go to Top of the Mook. That's where the podcast is at. That's Organically Speaking. And you can go listen to all the Top of the Mook podcasts too. This is going on both channels, Top of the Mook and my Mr. Organic channel. But like I said, man, I want you guys to go ahead and shoot your questions to me, and I'm going to address them accordingly. I know you got questions about, you know, women, uh, money, uh, uh, mindset, all that good stuff. Give me everything so I can go deep dive into it and you know, understand the logistics of it. You know, I can break all that down for you, too, in a comedy fashion. Get on my JDR understandings. You know what I mean? But make sure you go to OrganicLifestyle.com, get the clothing. Or what my understanding is about is uh, the Aiden Ross situation. Aiden Ross, 21 Savage. Um, Let me just tap into this. There's a lot of streamers out here. I see them all. Mostly nerdy white dudes and all that. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Um. And Kit, what Kai said, uh, said what the Kai said, say, what are his name, the little black nigga? Cool, the little nigga, little nerd, we rock with you, but come on, champ. Um, what's happening is they're getting too comfortable being around real niggas and real niggas situations. When you get into gambling, you get into playing with big money and guys from different, you know, different areas of life. You're talking about the hood, hood. So I don't understand why Organic likes to throw shade on nerds. Like, he always wants to degrade or make it sound like weird because they nerds or right or they sound like nerds but at the same time he tries to come off like he a real street dude but he's not a real street dude 
you can tell like he was shaking and nervous like when the police approached him both times it wasn't like just one scenario or two scenario. like every time police pulls him over he turns into a little bitch organic is a little bitch he he uh, he tries to pretend like he's gangsta he just he just wears the costume of a gangsta he's all tatted out he moves like he's street smart he sounds like he's street smart he talks like he's street smart but he's not really part of the streets he has no street background he's never got caught up with any street crimes he just tries to pretend like all these guys that get on youtube and act gangsta they just try to pretend like they have a gangsta background they ain't gangsta they were never gangsta they were never street dudes they were never nothing like if anything organic is probably a nerd that wants to act like he's a real street dude he's not you can tell, like like I said, when the police pulled him, he was nervous. He kept f- fidgeting with that can. Like, put that fucking can down. You know there's no fucking juice in it. Stop acting like a bitch in front of the police, right? And then when the other officer pulled him over in, um, on South Beach, right, he, he turned right into a bitch, right? He's like, my name is Organic. I got social media. And uh, I really I really turned everything down. You know, I, I really started from the seed. And now I have all these brands. I started a merch company. I wrote three, four books. Like, dude, the fucking officer don't give a fuck about your biography. He wants to know why the fuck are you standing right here improperly stopped? Why is your car... Why the plates on the car ain't coming up to an active registration? They don't give a fuck about you writing four books. They don't care about your background. They don't care if you do YouTube and all this gay shit that you be talking about. Don't sound gangster to me. Don't sound like a dude that's really been in the streets. Street dudes don't just stand there and be like, you know, let me share my my street creds with you. So stop throwing shade on nerds when you are a fucking nerd. He sounds just like a nerd. But he just adds that gangster flavor to it, that nat- natural, concentrate gangster flavor to it. Big money, you're going to get played. So Aiden Ross seems like he's a good little kid. Listen up, brother. You got what you deserve. Why are you playing with motherfuckers from the streets like that with big hundreds and thousands of dollars? And I use an easy lick. They did what they're supposed to do to you. You got to get comfortable with getting fucked over when you fuck around with the hood. See, that's going to happen eventually. So when you guys are these streamers and all these nerds running around these real niggas and trying to get into these communities and play with these people, you're going to get the same shit we get when we in the hood. You get some goddamn carnage, some disrespect. Bro, you're not a hood dude. That's the problem, though. You act like you are part of the You were in the hood. You're not part of the hood. You were never in the hood. You were like a house bitch. You made it seem like you were in the hood. You made it seem because it fits the profile, right? It's easy. It's easy for people like organic to assume and portray the lifestyle of somebody in the hood, man. It's just stop, man. He sounds so stupid, man. How many what what has organic done in the streets? Can somebody tell me what he has he done? He always talks about his background is in the streets. What exactly has he done on the streets or for the streets or while he was on the streets? Like, what has he fucking done? All his stories are all lies. So now when he wants to act like he was gangsta and he was part of the streets, he talks like this. But before he said, you know, when he's around basketball players, oh, I used to play basketball. I played for this team, that team. I was hopping from state to state trying to get a career started in basketball. When he's around other dudes, he talks about he was in the cartel. And then other times he talks about he took advantage of women. He was like a a gigolo or whatever. Like, dude, you got all kinds of fake ass backgrounds from decades ago. You couldn't have done all of these in that time period. You were a street dude, but you were pursuing basketball. But you're also working with the cartel. But you're also fucking different women using women. It's like, come on, man, you are a fucking liar. You are not a street dude. You are a fucking nerd dressed to look like a gangster. You're not gangster at all, man. Cut it out, man. But we're going to wrap up here. Stay tuned, man. We're going to grill the crap out of this organically speaking garbage new podcast that he's got going on now, man. But uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section.